What's going on YouTube? It's XFix Media back again with another hotel review. Today we'll be reviewing the Seabreeze Hotel, which is in the Susua in the Dominican Republic. So it's right beside Casa Marina Reef, which all includes the hotel. Um, they did some renovations so it looks much better from outside. I remember this being like just a, a hole in the wall kind of hotel, but then they did some renovations. Um, I only booked because it was Halloween weekend and I booked from August and everything else was sold out. So my favorites are Casa Valeria, Casa Sula Inn, we're all booked. So I just took the sea piece for uh, the Halloween weekend and I moved it to Susuna. I'll give you guys the, the little tour. So right here we have, when you, right when you enter, we have the bar. And it's, like a, it's just like a straight hall down here. And then here we have the restaurant. The breakfast is included. It's a it's a buffet, so that's one good plus. Yeah, so not much. It's just straight down this way, and then some of the rooms are just up the stairs here. Not much to it. Not complicated at all. We have a pool and a jacuzzi here. It's a nice lounge area and then a little bit more rooms here and then that's it. I got the supposedly called the suite which you enter right through. Okay now that we entered the room it looks much smaller than those on the website. So here's the bed. Looks like a queen maybe even possibly a king side. Uh, very low. Comfortable nonetheless. Very very high ceiling. The ceiling's nice look at. You got a fan, you got the AC, um, decent TV. So your little lounge area. You can have your drinks on the table. Don't mind the mess, I'm just checking out now. Your standard closet. I think I've seen this in like every hotel. Where you have your room to put your suitcase and then you have a safe. It looks small from out here, but inside Yeah, not much room. Enough to fit your Passport and some of your electronics, maybe. Little table here. That's where you have your meals. Mini fridge. I think in the photos I saw maybe a full kitchen. Uh, I don't remember, but yeah. Sink. What's really bad about this hotel is the water pressure. So yeah, it's horrible. Coffee maker, nobody's gonna be using that. If you got your cups. I have to buy my own water because water is not complimentary here. You get two bottles when you check in and that's it. You don't get uh, any refills. So that's a negative for sure. Uh, the shower. Shower was decent. Standard tub. I'm right, sorry, toilet. And sink. And then when you come out here. A little Terrence, not big at all. And then, yes, this was room 30 oh, no, sorry, 031 at the end, right um, after the pool. Okay, so that's it for this room. Uh, the positives I would give. For this hotel is that it's um it's in walking distance of everything so it's in the center it's right between Sasu Inn and Casa Marina it has AC it has a pool jacuzzi and it's pretty clean a lot of some pools don't look as nice like the Europa pool is not nice at all it doesn't, it doesn't look like you want to jump in but this pool uh deck lounge is very good so the pool AC and I would say, yeah, that's it. Pool, AC, and um, the walking distance from everything. Um, or location. Uh, as for negatives, I'll say the water pressure is very bad. Um, the room for what you pay for for this one is like, this is like probably the top one I paid for. You don't get much, you, you get way more, I think, at U Europe or uh, Casa Barrio for the same price for better. Um, 
no water is not included. Casaveria water you get um, is included. And I think so, so in now. Yeah, and that's it. Also, a positive um, breakfast is included. So yes, that's my review of Sea Breeze, 2021 October 2021. Make sure you check my other videos and reviews, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. So the negatives for the Sea Breeze Hotel would be that the price is high for the better rooms. I got the top of the line room that Seabreeze has and it's on par if not a little bit more than the rooms at um, Casa Valeria which is way better and um, just underneath um, basic rooms that's a soul in so if you're looking to pay for um, a superior room for that price you may as well go to Casa Valeria or Soso Inn. Um, the second negative thing is the bottled water. So, you know, if you're uh, traveling from uh, well, Europe, North America, anything, you're not used to the water here. That's, that goes for most of the Caribbean islands. So usually even to just to brush your teeth, you have to use the bottle of water. Your stomach's going to um, hurt every night or in a few hours. So a lot of the hotels like Sasua Inn, Casa Valeria, they give you free water. But here it does not. So you get two bottles the first day then that's it so yeah i would have to go to the grocery store and buy a big jug and um depend on that and for the last negative thing it would have to be the water pressure in the shower it wasn't strong enough at all and as you could see when i went to the uh, kitchen there was barely anything coming out of there so those would be the three only negative things which is which is livable Okay, as for the positives go, um, it's a great location. It's in the, well, I don't say center of Susua, but it's between uh, Susua Inn and Casa Marina. So it's, uh, it's walkable distance from everything, So which is good. Um, you don't have to take the moto barely anywhere. So it's one of the primary hotels, great location. Um, the standard rooms are a decent price so if you're just looking for like a small room a hole in the wall just to sleep at night or just to do you know uh the basics because you won't be in your room too much then yeah the it's it's more affordable than anywhere else if you're just looking for a standard room with just a bed in it and uh, last but not least uh free breakfast so if you wake up on time i believe it closes at 11 you get a little mini buffet. It's, it's not amazing, but like, you know, you save some money cause if you're not getting all-inclusive deals. So breakfast is included. Also, there's a bar on site. The staff is great. And yeah, so those are the positives of this hotel. Okay, and the rating I'll be giving Seabreeze as of November 2021, right after the pandemic. And since the renovations, I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. A little better than average, way better than it was before the renovations. Um, before it was actually like just a hole in the wall, something just to bring a, a Chico to quickly, you know, and just whatever, whatever for an hour. But yeah, this, I could see myself staying. I wouldn't mind staying again, but just those little issues with the uh, no water included in the pressure. But yeah, that's nothing to complain too much about. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this review. Leave any questions. Make sure you like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.